Hey everyone, it's Jason with uh, Backyard Grill and Smoking. Nick, we finally got together. We yep. threatened we were going to do it. We told y'all we'd do it. Uh, we got a little something special we think today, so I'll let Nick take it for Today we've got some fresh quail. I don't know if you can see it that great, but we've got some fresh quail all the way from Texas from a buddy of mine that donated to us and he wanted us to cook it. So we're going to try it out today, see how things go, and keep on watching. All right, so we got these all set. What we're gonna do is, I'm kind of a garlic guy, so my weapon of choice can be a marinated with herb and garlic. I'm also gonna use some Cajun seasoning on them. That's how I'm gonna do my birds. And then my birds, we're gonna try this uh, honey teriyaki, because I'm a big Asian flavored guy, and I have some of uh, Rectex Jody's Asian Persuasion we're gonna put on them. And then once we get done seasoning them and marinating them, we're gonna let them sit for a little while. Then we're gonna take some Jimmy Dean's Applewood smoked bacon on all of them, and we're gonna wrap them in bacon, and then we're gonna smoke them on the smoker. But we're gonna show y'all how to, we're gonna go, well, let's just go ahead and soak them. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's just go ahead and soak them. Get them in the bath. <clears throat> we hope y'all are enjoying all of these videos that we're doing, but like I said, we're gonna let them soak for about 30 to 45 minutes. And then once we get done some, letting the flavor sink in and everything, then we'll come back at y'all and uh, show you the next process. Hey, coming down to my, one of my favorite parts of it, firing my baby up. We got charcoal over here. We have apple wood over here. Let's come together, come out. We're gonna do it at 250. I already said 250. It's gonna take no time to get up the temperature. We'll get you back here on the next set. Hey guys, we're back. I just wanted to go ahead and show y'all. We've already got everything set on the grill. We got the grill running at 250, the Rectech 700. We've got the teriyaki bacon wrapped quail on this side. We've got the garlic and herb well on this side and we had some leftover bacon so we figured why not make some poppers to go along with it but we'll see you back here in a few once these hit the internal tip of 165 then we'll be good to go and we'll try them out thank y'all What's up, y'all? We're back. We got our quail, bacon wrapped quail, off the grills and the jalapeno poppers wrapped in bacon. We're not going to show you too much of that one because everybody does that, but hardly anybody, you see anybody do quail. But we wanted to show you this is what the uh, teriyaki bacon wrapped quail looks like. And this is what the, uh, the herb of garlic. Garlic and herb yeah, herb quail garlic. looks like. So what we're going to do is. I'm gonna cut into a piece of mine if we get this. There we go. We got the toothpick off. I'm gonna cut a piece off of mine. It's kind of hard to do with the bacon, so we might just undo the bacon. But there's a little breastbone back in there you wanna be careful with. Jason's cutting him a piece. I'm cutting me a piece off of the ones I did. I'd like to point, well, there goes my bacon. I would like to show, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, that smoke ring on there. I think the light's got that pretty good. Nick's got a pretty good camera, yeah. so. But uh, that smoke ring is awesome. But let's see, let's see. The meat's good. Let's see what they taste like. Oh man. Oh, what? That hit the nail. I was worried about it getting too dry. Or gamey. Or gamey, having that gamey flavor. Not dry at all. It's not dry. Mm. I do not taste a gamey flavor in that whatsoever. Mm -hmm. No. And no BBs either, so that's always good. Yeah. No pellets. That means whoever shot these is a good shot. Appreciate that. So, I'm going to cut Jason a piece off of mine and let him try it with the bacon. There's that. Got that one for you, man. There's that one. Cheers again. Cheers, brother. Both of these are awesome, right on point. Definitely different texture or flavor, flavor, but I like that. 
I'm still a garlic guy, so I like mine a little bit better, but, those, but I like that too. Dude, but they, now. <laughs> both of them are great flavor. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I really, I'm really pleased with the way things turned out on this one. This cook. And remember, everybody, you want to see more videos like this, smash that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video so we can help get more people to know about our channel. And also, go check out Backyard Grilling and Smoking on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And we both have Instagram. We're not really... You can look us up, Jason Keener or Nicholas Dong. You can look for our ugly faces, but we'll be on there. But nothing's really crazy going on right there. No. But share this video if you want to. Hey, I want to. I just want to throw something in. I mean, I, we didn't even talk about this none. These gloves right here, Venom Steel. These things are awesome. I just, I can't say enough about them. I love. We used them at work for. Uh, they they held up really good with epoxy and stuff and just the varnishes and stuff we were using. So I'm like, well, let's try them out with cooking. And I grabbed a box of them. Sure. And insulation they're, with the heat. They, they're real good. It's cold out here today too, and it helps keep your hands warm. Really, really does. <laughs> so, but we appreciate y'all. And uh, be on the lookout for more videos in the future. Also, uh, if there's something that you, a product or something that y'all want to see us cook that you're trying to figure out exactly how to nail it down. Yeah, we'll let, help you. Ask us, let us know. It to we'll us. we'll, we'll help, figure it out. We'll figure out how to do it. Yeah, if we can't, we'll find somebody who will give us an answer. So. Oh yeah, we got some more videos to come, but thank y'all again. Thank you very much.